Hi everyone, so we are here at Rookery School. As you know, we've been working for the last few weeks uh, with some pupils from the school to actually create their own growing space. It has been absolutely amazing and the kids have really enjoyed putting together their own growing space and seeing the different foods that they eat actually growing in the garden. Uh, so come and take a look, it looks brilliant. So the kids have done all of this? The kids have planted everything, they've looked after it, they've watered it and they'll be taking some of them home as well. So it's been a really lovely project and thank you to everyone for your support and kind words. Uh, it's been amazing. This is an amazing effort. Can you talk us through what we've got in these raised beds? So in these raised beds, I believe that they... <laughs> I'm going to forget what type of beans they are, I think. I think they're runner beans? Yeah, I think uh, the dwarf, dwarf French bean. So these are dwarf French beans that the children planted and they literally were absolutely tiny about two weeks ago and they've just grown exponentially over the last two weeks and we actually have some beans that we have spotted which are just here so we're really excited to show the children what they've actually done. Um, they actually take five minutes before each session to actually look around the garden and see how much has grown and changed. So they'll be really excited. Did the, ki did the kids have, a, have fun building this trellis? Yeah, it was a group effort. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, they did really well. And um, yeah, they really enjoyed growing these. And also they've got a raspberry bush and a blackberry bush here as well. Ooh, that's <laughs> well, this is absolutely phenomenal. And... Do you want to tell what, what's going on in this bed? Well, at the start of the project, this raised bed was actually empty. Yep. So the children really worked hard using uh, the Hugel method. Yeah. As we built up this raised bed by putting in different layers, they filled it and then they planted these little plug plants. And look at this now. They, they were literally plug plants when they, they went were in. They were literally plug plants. So I think we've got some mixed salad, mixed salad leaf. Yep. Uh, some coriander. Coriander. Some more mixed salad leaf. Yep. Some more coriander. I think the kids are going to really... We really are in inner city Birmingham here. You couldn't have scripted <laughs> that. <laughs> um, and that's, that's actually, that's a serious point, isn't it? Because um, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that this project it's not sorry i've just thought go on rainbow chard rainbow chard how did we leave out rainbow chard <laughs> but on a serious level um you know the fact that the car's gone just gone past yeah. and you know it just goes to show <laughs> this project is not normal is it for inner city birmingham oh no it truly is an urban growing project and that's what's been really lovely that actually a lot of these children don't necessarily have access to this kind of growing space and they've just taken to it mm. so incredibly well and it just shows them how the food that they're eating actually comes to be and that's been really really cool to be part of but hang on a minute what are all these plants over here <laughs> there's a lot of plants here what what is going on here so as part of the project we are doing a plant giveaway um, so again, as well as doing the beds, which will grow uh, longer term, we've also uh, given the children a chance to actually plant up the plugs into individual pots. So as part of this, today being the final day before summer term ends, um, they will be giving away plants to their family members who come along to pick them up as well. So we'll be getting everything prepped today. And the kids today. are going to be telling the families about what what these plants are and what food they can grow with them. Absolutely, and how they planted them and they looked after them and got them to where they are. So it's really exciting. Wow. Well, and actually, I've got a correction to make <laughs> because these have grown so incredibly quickly. I, did, I just forgot the plug plants were put into there. These have grown from seed. Yes. Wow. <laughs> So I, they have just grown so quickly, momentarily, mm -hmm. I just forgot and thought they were the plug plants. They've <laughs> so grown from seed. I should say that the two of you have been here every single week, haven't you? Yes. 
I, I've just turned up today you know, to, <laughs> to do the social media. Well, no, you did the beginning and end, so that's quite nice. So, could you just let me, let because let, a lot of people are going to be watching this video. Could you share what the kids have been saying about, what, what's been their reaction to this project? They get so excited when they turn up every week and that's why we started to give them that bit at the beginning, didn't we? To actually give them a chance to walk around the space and just see what has changed. Because at this time of year, what, what something does one week is completely different the next week. Um, so the beans are a really good example <laughs> that they just grow so quickly. Um, so they've absolutely loved that. Um, but also a lot of the children, I've heard the sort of saying about, oh, I, I use that in my cooking or um, back home, this is what we would normally grow and things. Mm -hmm. So they've been sharing a lot of their stories. Because it's worth saying, isn't it, for people that don't know, uh, Rookery School is a very multicultural school in a very diverse mm -hmm. area of Birmingham. Yeah. There's a lot of different languages spoke here, isn't mm -hmm. there? And Absolutely. A few, few Brummies among them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. But, um, but in that aspect, we've actually learnt things mm. from the from the children absolutely yeah absolutely this is it it's um so yeah there was um one girl who was talking about the particular country that she comes from um what they what they plant and what they use and she was talking about um a forest of plants that we yes. worked out was bamboo i think yes um so it's just l really lovely stories like that that that's not our growing experience but mm. that's her growing experience and it's bringing all of that yeah culture together it's all equally valid isn't it mm -hmm. absolutely well in a few minutes the kids are actually going to be coming for, over from the school <laughs> and they've had their lunch and they're going to be doing a bit of work now in the garden so mm -hmm. um i think it's best time best to sign the video off here but i just want to say to both of you <laughs> thank you so much for your hard work on this project you should be really proud oh thank you for building the raised beds if nothing yeah. else <laughs> see you later